Yo, what's up? This is Patrick from Guy in the Cube. Adam and I were recently on the call and someone showed a Power BI report and Adam asked a question. He said, hey, what is this report filtered by? I was like, ooh, that'll make a great video. Stay tuned for the details. If you find this for the very first time, be sure to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date on all the videos from both Adam and this guy. Oh, new background, I'm working on it. You guys didn't know, sneakerhead. I love sneakers, particularly Jordans, right? Because I grew up in the 90s when Jordan was really popular. So I'm trying some different things. This week, Jordans. Next week, maybe Marvel. Who knows? You guys know I like Marvel a lot. But, you know, drop some feedback where? In the comments below. I'd love to know. Would you guys like to see on the shelf? All right, enough about that. So Adam and I were on this call and they showed this report. It was a report page and it had a bar chart on it. Wait, 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 wait. Enough of all this talking. You guys know I like to do. Let's do what? Let's head over to my laptop. So we're on this call and someone loaded up a report that looked very similar to this. And Adam said, what is this filtered by? And the guy was like, oh, it's for this year. And I'm like, how we know? He said, let me show you. So he went home, he clicked transform, he went to internet sales and he said, click here and it's filtered by this year. And I was like, who's gonna do that? Why would I do that to find out the filter? Can you just put it on the page? Let me show you what I'm talking about. So instead of walking through all those steps, why can't you just go here, say insert text box. It's really simple. So let me do a little formatting just because I'm a little picky. I know I should have did this before, but that's okay. And all you need to type is total monthly sales for current year. Now I know that it's filtered by the current year and I don't need to ask. Or you can make it dynamic. You can use like make a measure and use a now function and extract out the year. Or you can just type it in like this. You can say for use plus and say max calendar year, enter and click save. Of course, you need to know what's in that calendar because you may have a max year that's in the future, but you can do something like this and it'll work. And now when someone consumes the report that's not in the desktop, maybe they're in the service and they can't go look at all the transforms that you do, they'll know that this report is filtered by the current year. And they don't have to guess, take the guessing out of your data storytelling, okay? So this is a simple one. And I know what you guys are thinking, well, Patrick, what about slicers and filters? And I want to grab the context. So let me show you, let me show you how you can handle that so we have a more complex report, somewhat more complex. And by default, you can easily see the filter context simply by hovering over an element. And if the visual headers are on and this particular filter one, if I hover over it, I can see everything that's filtered. It's filtered by country, state, province, and year. It works right out of the box. But there's a lot of report developers that like to turn off those visual headers. So if they're off, how do I see it? Well, you can go write a lot of DAX or you can go read Marco's article and we'll have a link to it in the description of this video below. Go check it out where he talks about a measure that does a dump of the filters. Let me show you how you do it. So you need DAX Studio and all you need to do is pick any table. If you wanted it for a specific table, you would do define filter dump measures. If you want it for all tables, you would do it define filter dump measure all tables. And you can see it, I've already done it here. And then you just copy this, head back over to Power BI Desktop and create that measure. And so you can see right here, I've created that measure. Once that measure is created, maybe you set some filters here in your slicer panel. Maybe you set some filters here on the filter pane, but I've added a button. If I hold on to control in the desktop, it's going to show me my filter context using that dump measure that Marco created. Now my report consumers can see everything that's filtered on my report. Now you need to go read the article. There's some caveats and some nuances about cross highlighting and cross filtering that you need to be aware of when using this approach, but it definitely will provide you with a pattern to providing your report consumers with the filter context of that report page. All right, what do you guys think? You got any questions, you got any comments? You've done anything like this before? I'd love to know. Let's continue the conversation where? In the comments below. If it's your first time visiting the Guy in the Cube channel, hit that subscribe button, if you like my video, big thumbs up. As always, from Adam and myself, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.